Yeah. Morning, folks. This is Kim, the Cajun Gold Wing Rider. Today we're going to take a, go and take a ride on the Cajun Gold Wing, and also I'm going to be showing you some uh, clips of uh, of the Barber Raceway Vintage Show that I went on a couple of weeks ago with a few friends of mine, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Good morning, YouTubers. It's Kim the Cajun Go Wing Rider. We just got us a little bite to eat, and now we're heading on the highway. Hope you come along for the ride. Today we're just basically going to be riding on the highway and just, just enjoying the day and um, um, basically uh, we're going to show you a few clips of my trip I took a couple of weeks ago with a few friends of mine uh, to uh, Barber Raceway in Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama. Um, this was their 14th uh, annual show for the vintage uh, races and um, it was a real good time. So, uh, we usually go every year. Uh, personally, myself, I've probably gone out of the 14 years that this event has taken place. I've gone probably about, I, I, I'd say at least nine or ten times. I've, I've missed a few shows. Uh, I missed the very first one, the first year. I went the second, and uh, the show used to be at the beginning. I mean, I'm sorry, at the end of October, which was not not a problem. Uh, but then the date was changed to more of the beginning of October, uh, which is around my uh, my wife's birthday, and uh, basically. Uh, uh, she doesn't come with me to the shows. It was more of a guy thing, and uh, um, I didn't want to leave her what, from her. You know, I didn't, I wanted to be around for her birthday, and basically that's why. I, towards the end, I stopped going. In fact, the last time I went, uh, I believe, was in 2014. Uh, I had a good close friend of mine. Uh, he had cancer, and we knew this was to probably be his last trip to Barber Raceway because he enjoyed it a lot. His name was Drew Fontenot, and. Uh, we basically, uh, I basically definitely went for that show and uh, he, he actually passed away the following year. So uh, uh, I hadn't gone back since and uh, now in 2018, uh, I got the okay from the wife. She said that I could go and uh, she knew I was going to be missing her birthday and she was okay with it. And uh, so we turned around and we headed out. Here's a few clips of the, sh the show, Barber Raceway. Alabama. 
lot of vendors out here doing all kinds of stuff. Guitars, jackets, food, earplugs, all kinds of, of things. Accessories for motorcycles. Very nice. Here's some video of some sidecar racers. Here's a shot of the uh, waterfall, man-made waterfall in the on the racetrack itself, or in the center of the racetrack. Very nice. Here's a shot of a lot of people uh, displaying their bikes and showing off all the work they've done and uh, a lot of the vendors right on the side of the racetrack. Here's a spot I like to hang out whenever I go to the races. Uh, it's just basically this hillside on the side of the track and uh, it's got these stones you can sit on and all this other stuff and it's uh, nice shady and it just gives you an opportunity to relax and watch the races. Here's a shot of the swap meet. Some of the things displayed on the swap meet. And here's my good friend Drew Fontenot's bike. That's the soul and someone's displaying it. Here's a bike of one of my new friends that just made uh, at this show. Uh, his name is Justin Blue. Are uh, you looking at an orange Honda? This is him walking up to it. Uh, he re remodified this engine. You can see the belts coming out the side and the, and the pulleys and stuff. And he's getting ready to do a sound test or a sound reverend contest. He's in. Bike ends up winning. Hello, everybody. My name's uh, Justin Blue. I'm from Hill City, Alabama. This is my 74 CD A40 with an 8 MR 500 supercharger, 5 pounds of boost. Make sure your feet don't get caught in those belts. Friends, Charles, Marcus, and Mike are uh, walking uh, to the museum. Beautiful place. Here's a shot of all of the bikes, all makes and models, in front of Barber Raceway Museum. A beautiful sight. Alright guys, this is a shot of the auction going over here going on over here in Barber Raceway. It's all the people bidding on the bikes. 
this year's indoors for great. And it's actually in the new addition to the uh, museum, which is all air conditioning and makes it very nice. Here's a shot from the second floor shooting down uh, at the stage where they put the bikes at for auction. Here's the Jefferson Country Sheriff Goldwing. Yes, every time I come to this museum, which is every time I come to the show, uh, the vintage show, uh, I come down and look at this bike. I've always fell in love with this. I've always been in love with this bike. Uh, it was redone and it's the the quality looks like brand new. Probably looks better than new, better than it was at the factory. But it's a beautiful Indian. Wish I had one like this. Back to the video. Oh yes, folks, that was a great place, great job, a great, a great trip, and uh, had fun with a great bunch of friends. And uh, we'll probably do it again next year. Hope that nothing happens. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, all my friends for inviting me and uh, and putting up with my snoring at night. <laughs> Remember, like I always say, enjoy your life and enjoy the ride. All right, this is Kim, Cajun Going, signing out. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. And have a great and blessed day. Thank you.